Come to negotiate, eh? Have you, you slimy git? Look what I got. I got a jar of dirt. I got a jar of dirt. Okie dokie, so I'm gonna show you how to make a Dungeons and Dragons character, or at least the basics, not like the whole thing, and I'm sorry if there's background music, so yeah. So let's start with the basic. First, you get three pages. Uh, this is the main character page, so where you do the stuff, right, for the character, equipment and stuff. This is backstory, I guess. Um, this, it's pretty easy to do. I mean, all you gotta do is read it and you'll get it, but I'll explain it. And this is spell casting for uh, magic dealers. If you don't have magic in your race slash, if you don't, if your character doesn't have any magic, then uh, you don't have to worry about this, which is less work. Um, so let's start off with this page. So, <clears throat> so there's many stuff, and you can be instantly intimidated. Don't worry. So, you first start off with character name. E sometimes in the player's handbook here, uh, it will say you, like, a name for your race. race. Um, yeah. So, what you want to do is your class first, then your race. So, honestly, it can be any race. Right now, I'm Dragonborn. So, for the player's handbook, I would search Dragonborn. Oh, oops. Born. Uh, click enter. It will give you this. Just click on anything and until you get to like a chapter which shows the dragonborn thingy and i don't know why my wi-fi is slow all right that's strange eh screw it eh okay this is really annoying so once that you might want to zoom in to read it so it will tell you descriptions here is here is names female names male names childhood names clan names age etc and then maybe we'll have different types of uh the race so like here for the dragonborn just black blue green blah, blah 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 i'm not gonna mention them all and each one has their own uniqueness and also maybe bad stuff you could see um and so for the dragonborn it won't say much honestly that's which is kind of annoying so you like like oh no but what do i do with strength constitution dexterity intelligence right etc also by the way my things have finished so uh yeah um so what you want to do there's this site roll 20 um don't worry i'll send links in the description and then you could just search your race so drag oh, drag and born right you click enter right and then just click on the one you want so races of course um and then it will give you so ability score increase your strength score is increased by two and your charisma score is increased, i can't speak increased by one so here you will be placing your increased score right so i place two for strength plus two for strength and then here plus one for charisma and then you could just scroll down. So this is where you get the speed, 30 feet. Uh, five feet is one square, I believe. So just write 30 feet. Anyways. And then this is the stuff for the different types. This is breath weapon. Um, uh, You will... This is technically part magic. So I guess you can place it in the magic section. I don't know then there's size speed and then languages you have to do this of course so you know what you speak so right now common tongue which is english english and uh draconic which is uh the dragonborn tongue all right now that you're done with the race stuff so which is basically everything so you chose what you want to be what type of race you want to be um and uh your height and maybe sometimes you could do here your age age um in your height your weight your hair skin whatever um you go to your class now it depends on what class you want so there's supporter a healer a damage dealer magic damage dealer and a range attacker tanker and also a 
speed speedster. I call it speedster because they're fast. Yeah, I consider it a class, honestly. Um, so right now I I want to be a paladin, so I search it up. Uh, which one is it? This one? Yep, I think it's that one. Uh, why is the internet so slow? Wait. Once you get that, the class is gonna have the most information. Um, so here is sometimes it will get spell slots. So for the first this you will see for the spell slots. Um, I will be teaching you how to do spell slots, by the way. If you don't want to learn, just skip. Um, because uh, sometimes some classes don't have magic. So this is the spell slots. So zero. Yeah, you start off at level one. So bonus plus two. Spell casting plus two. That's the bonus. Wait, I'm pretty sure that's the spell casting. Yeah, that is the bonus. Yeah, it is. And then it will say the divine sense and lay on hands. So you can read here on where it is, which is, and then you just place it here, and then just place a little check mark or whatever. I I am doing this online, so it's kind of hard to do a check mark, uh, for like to have it prepared. Then there shall be a how to spell class. So for the save DC, which is uh here, I forgot what DC means. Uh. Um, I, I I forgot. I I don't know. Um, so eight plus your proficiency bonus, which is here, which I will tell you how to get it later. Plus your charisma modifier, which is here, which some classes it will show you. So it's one plus two, which is three plus eight, which is eleven. So we write down. Oh my god, eleven. Now spell attack bonus, which is um. Uh, uh, let's say I believe for spell attack bonus, it's pretty. Eh. I can't write it here. Plus, three. I'm, I'm gonna just write it three, I guess. Um, it's your proficiency bonus plus your charisma modifier, which is three because my proficiency bonus plus two and my charisma is plus one. Jeez, this is annoying. It's gonna take you quite a while. And then there's other spells which don't look at if you see up the beginning of the second or higher level just just skip it because you already start off at level one sadly depression me now so most of the stuff will be levels stuff like that levels and honestly don't read anything about the levels just read the like first level i would recommend once you level up and you think you're like leveling up quickly just start reading about the second level now you should just like it doesn't give much information right it doesn't give anything about oh wait no i forgot the class features i'm so bad so for the class features it will say what is it so hit points hit dice which is what dice you use to do damage which where is the hit dice right there so one d 10 d which is a uh, dice with 10 sides per paladin per paladin level so if i level up twice i will get two hit points at first level 10 plus your constitution modifier that right there so 10 i think it will go to my constitution um hit points at first level i th i believe i think it will go to temporary no it will no actually it will go to your here so plus your so this i ha i have to delete it oh i did a big fat war um so it will go here Plus your constitution modifier, which you will, so it will be 10 plus, I don't know the constitution yet. This, which let's say it was two, it would be 12. So that will be your hit points, which is health. Hit points at higher level, this you won't need. Proficiency, so it's what you can use. Armor, all armor, and shields. Weapons, simple weapon, and martial weapons. Now martial weapons are not martial arts. All right, it's just weapons that go shook shook. Uh, tools none sadly saving throws so for saving throws wisdom and charisma just check it off wisdom charisma and skills choose two so choose what it says so athletics insight intimidation medicine persuasion and religion so here i will choose to i choose insight and medicine uh you, you could just hear and on the side it would say dex or whiz so D-E-X, Dexterity, Wiz, Wisdom, I-N-T, Intelligence, C-H-A, Charisma, 
and that's basically it so what you add here on this line so let's say i had plus one uh, wisdom i would add plus one for medicine here just add what the bonus is so right now for charisma i would add plus one and for wisdom i'm not sure because i'm not done yet yeah. So, and then there's equipment. Pay close attention. You don't want to add something. So, a Marshall A, so A or B, you get to choose from either one. You don't get both. One. Unless it says and. A martial weapon and a shield. So, I chose the martial weapon, which is, you can search it here. The martial weapon. Don't worry. It will take some time. What the hell? is very interesting um i think you should search weapons then I, yeah search weapons then i'm not sure what so weapons just do the list so it, it depends martial weapon you need to go it depends on martial weapons is all the weapons but sometimes your character is better with specific type of weapons so for example a ranger would of course be good with a range weapon not a melee like I mean, eh? Are you okay? Then there's five javelins or a simple melee weapon. So a simple melee weapon. So it's it would say um, which is for some reason taking quite a while. So I'm gonna search the martial weapon fifty, which I recommend doing it. For some reason here it doesn't work. I'm not sure what's going on. Then you just wanna scroll down. The 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 the. the you might want to read sometimes so like two-handed it requires two hands heavy it deals a lot of damage light it deals light damage so simple melee weapons so this is where the simple ones is and i didn't like any of those so i went with the javelin i mean yeah the five javelin so martial martial it has to be these either if it says martial weapons it has to be either the ranged or the melee depending on your character one will be better so it will say two-handed if it's two-handed you have to use the both hands so if i chose a martial weapon and a shield and i choose a two-handed one i won't be able to use my shield and the two-handed at the same time until maybe i gain enough strength so there's a priest pack and an explorer's pack honestly i recommend the explorer's pack but you could just search it up they contain the stuff for uh surviving stuff and then it would say chainmail and holy symbol. Now, uh, chainmail is armor, which armor will come in for armor class. You can just search it up. Uh, why did I X out of that? I don't know. So, right after that, you might want to be like, okay, so what do I do for all of this? All of this stuff then, and all of this, right? Um, wait, I didn't mean to say that. What I mean is uh go with the attacks and spell casting so the spell casting is magic so i have here my javelin so this the, that's the name oh i didn't mean to do that and then this is the damage last type so the damage is you need to do one d8 so d is for dice so one dice has eight sides and the slashing type it's it will say the type i mean uh it will say so for long sword it's slashing javelin piercing fire breath honestly it didn't say anything so i said breath i guess um and yeah so here this is your choice um flaws bonds ideals personality traits don't <clears throat> i don't know why i did that um uh so uh uh i went off and did some research and uh, i figured out that here this oval i guess is where you place the main stats in the square looking thing is where you place the bonus so i was wrong now you might be wondering how did i get 17 6 12 12 15 14 right another i i think two ways maybe even three honestly one way i think well when i played the dungeon master gave me the stats the other way is uh here use these numbers so 15 14 13 12 10 8 and then you place it wherever you want it to go. Um, but the third way is here. So you might want to go on a dice roller or 
grab four dices, dies, dices or dies. I think it's dice. Um, and roll it. Uh, all four numbers, right? So let's say roll, and then you eliminate the lowest number, which is will be in my one. So, and then add the rest. So that'd be five, fourteen. I mean, and then you do that six times, and then you place it wherever you want. Um, I'll write it, write the number down in a piece of paper. So it's like I said. Oh shoot, where is it? Roll the all four dies. Eliminate the lowest, add the rest, write it down, and then you place it wherever you want it to go. Try to, like, balance it out. Probably make it, like, if you're a goblin, don't go there and give it to your, like, biggest thing, strength. Probably give it to dexterity or intelligence or wisdom. No, I think intelligence or dexterity. I'm not sure. So try to, like, make it realistic, I guess I'm trying to say. So in my opinion, my case, I went... Since I am a paladin dragonborn, I went full on out with 17 strength and 6 dexterity since I'm so, I'm, li I'm literally 6 feet tall and 220 pounds. So, uh, sneak missions, not my greatest, except for the charisma. Oh, okay then. So, uh, I had to go do more research. So, now you might be wondering where is does the bonus come in? So, uh, for each number here. The bonus, I believe, oh, it's loading, there we go. So, each number represents a bonus, so from 2 to 3, it's minus 4, 4 to 5, 4 to 5, minus 3, etc., and so on. So, you can just pause the video and do this. Um, so, what are these bonuses? So, whenever you do an action uh, to do with strength, dexterity, so, and stuff like that, so, here, wisdom, insight, or whatever, um, you roll the dice and then you see. So if, for example, if I'm trying to do a strength thing, action, I guess, like, I don't know, lifting up heavy boulder, I'm not sure. I roll the dice and if I get, let's say, 15, I do 15 plus 3, which will be 18. <sighs> yeah, so it, 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 it boosts it up, I guess you can say. Um... So, yes, um, another thing I forgot to mention is this is death save, so failures is how much times you die, so three times you die, I think it's permanent death. Successes? I'm guessing, I don't know. Honestly, I don't know. So temporary hit points is the temporary, well, temporary hit points, so right now current is 10, and then I would probably be, be damaged i guess and then that'd be my temporary or maybe a spell makes it less or maybe something gives you extra hit points or something i'm not sure i'm not 100 percent sure um so uh, um i remember i said something to do with my race giving me extra bonus i think let's see let's check so let's go. Um, so I remember like that will be my bonus. Well, I made an error. Uh so where am I? So the score is actually the total. So uh, so my uh my previous rule it was actually 15, but since it was increased by two, so it's 17 now. And then for charisma, it was uh, 13, and then it went to 1. So, yes. Also, by the way, make definitely make your uh, character a 1-year-old thing. Yes. Very, very smart of you. Mm -hmm. um, don't, don't, don't do it. I mean, if you want to be a baby, absolutely be useless. So, I think that covers everything, I believe. In Inspiration is for inspiration. Don't know how to get that, honestly initiative it, i can't speak um i'm not sure initiative initiative eh. let's see i'm not sure honestly because like, e oh well so um i will be sh posting this thing on the what are you on the uh what what are you wait. um i will be posting the sites that i use to help me um 
so yeah i hope you now know at least some basics to the uh dragonborn i mean not dragonborn dungeons and dragons thing uh if and yeah so with that will be end of the end